Okay, I think this camera is going to do a better job. And I'll use this little microphone, but it means I have to hold it. So, um, I, I baked a fish with the head today. And, um, and well, I also made an Outback wedge salad, both recipes from YouTube, the magic of YouTube. And so in doing the fish, I first went to my regular grocery store and I should have, I mean, I kind of realized this in advance that there would, there wouldn't be any whole fishes and there wasn't, you know, so I then went to the next strip mall where there's um, an H Mart. So they have, not only do they have like a whole like fish mart in there, but they have tanks with fish swimming around. So, um, and it was just like the videos said where they were, they were all saying, they said, um, they said, and, and have your fish man or some kind of term have your fish person uh descale and gut the fish for you and they all the videos were saying it and you know i thought well i don't know is there always going to be a person there to do that so anyway i looked at the fish and i really didn't know what to pick i picked tilapia which was a bad choice but um so I just said to somebody back there I said do you do like gutting of fish and so then he pointed to a sign do you want one two three or four and it was like a McDonald's menu do I want it like chopped into like four pieces that would have like made not fillets but the other kind of a thing um, did I want just like scaling in the head off? Anyway, I said, well, I want that one, but with the head. And he goes, oh, well, that's number four. So, so anyway, apparently it looks like pretty much everybody that buys a fish gets it done. And I noticed that there was nothing added to the fish, you know, no, no expense. So, um. Well, anyway, so um, when I went to check out, because that's all I was buying is the fish. I had my ice cream and everything in the car from my, my other grocery store. So when I was at the checkout counter, you know, it is the Asian, Korean, Hispanic type grocery store. I then realized that you know, there's just something that I really don't like about, um, well, I don't, is it Korean? Is it Asian? Is it, you know, I don't know what it is exactly, but, you know, like which, you know, I don't know. We'll say Korean. I don't know. Um, okay. My point is, is you, is, okay, so you enter the store, and there's newspapers, and there's CDs, you know, um, that's fine, but then, okay, so then, then you enter this fabulous area that you can get all sorts of produce, you know, all sorts of things, different fruits, and produce, and mushrooms, and everything under the sun and then you and then there's this meat area that's kind of like a food court so there's like pre-marinated different steaks and beefs and things that's great then the whole fish area that's great um the aisles are fine you know big bags of rice and there's big bags of spices and all sorts of things but up at the checkout getting closer and closer to the checkout you start to get candy and cookies and ready-made things, you know, that look kind of like Twinkies with like pink and blue frosting and really, really 
awful looking stuff. I mean, really just stuff that's just extremely dis you know, distasteful looking. I'm trying to move my mouse over here because I was no, oh, no, no, I don't want to I'm recording in two places. <laughs> um, okay, let me stop this because now it's making me all self conscious. Uh, I don't know. Can you ever get. Where's my microphone now? Can you ever get the perfect recording? Um, so, a anyway. Point being here um, that okay. Now I'm going to get into the extreme nitnoid. If you really want to go through this analysis here, um, font. Um, now when I took a Chinese watercolor watercolor um, class. Okay, no, we did not try to copy any Chinese font, but I bet if we did, it would have felt really different, like doing it with a brush, with black ink, and on rice paper. It probably would have been kind of artistic, but on these boxes of candy, the font, I mean, it's X double, like it, it it doesn't look, I mean, like, you know, when you have to adjust your keyboard, like on a phone, you have to do the, you know, that to get to the at, at symbol, you have to be on the one with the question marks and the pound signs and, you know, the equals and the pluses and all that. Um, you know, that's what their font looks like, that they're, that's what their, you know, their vocabulary, whatever you call it, their alphabet. And so, you can't, like, like if you put, a, like, a ruler on the top and the bottom between the font, it's not as nice as if you capitalized English and you printed it out. And again, I'm talking about, like, these boxes of candy that are in this, like, these, like, slick glossy boxes or wrappers or something and there's like pictures of panda bears or like little anime type oh my god I just oh my god it's just so I mean you know I, I, I had enough time in line where I said okay so I don't prefer it but you know why am I reacting like ridiculously strongly to this. So I don't know. Here's my weird excuse for that is that um, I've been watching Netflix and I went through some of the um, more popular things that people have been watching that I haven't watched for since Netflix was invented. So I got through Mad Men and things and but anyway so I was watching these chef shows and um, there's a lot of them so they were talking about things like the note and the tone and the you know the flavor bursts and and things that were so nuanced like um, one person was talking about lotus tea and it was showing it and it was a big lotus flower in this big thing of water. And he said, he said, you know, you have to wonder, I mean, this was really water, you know. Um, he said, but I couldn't get enough of it. It just had the note or something that he could barely taste. But yet... This was what they were all about, and they wanted to put it on the plate in a certain way, and and um, they wanted you to come into the restaurant without being stressed, and you know it was so nuanced that I 
thought, when I was in line today, I thought, well, don't feel guilty about this because, um, yeah, this is just something that I just found that just really does not uh, go along with my sensibilities at all. Not in the slightest. I I like my print and my font kind of to be... Well, I just don't like... <laughs> I don't know. I do, they had... Um, they had Red Bull also sitting up towards the counter. And I said, okay, well, there is a lot of graphics on that as well. They had a, a Disney thing with, like, little toys or something in it. But all it said on the side of the box was Disney. And then they had these, you know, little hole, kind of, like, um, it was almost like an egg carton where, like, all these, like, toys could kind of stick out. So, you know, the box only said Disney. And, um, so I couldn't really figure out whether their boxes had just, like, a higher quantity of graphics and fonts, or if I just didn't like the makeup. And really, it's just that I just... There's, there's nothing about their graphics and their alphabet that I like. And especially when it's on like a, you know, pink cupcake or a, a toy type candy or whatever. Oh, God. Um, and I also notice, and, you know, when you go into that uh, shopping center, they have a lot of, you know, posters and everything stuck to the glass. And I've noticed that when... Um, some people that I know travel, you know, I, I watch the videos and, um, you know, it's the same thing. Like, oh, you'd have to go through all of that, like those posters and things like that and those anime type things. And okay. Anyway, maybe, okay. How, how long? 12 minutes on the plus side. Um, I baked my fish. Um, I guess, you know, it baked as it was supposed to be. My arm is killing me right now, holding up this, this camera. Rested there. Okay. And it came out okay, but the fantastic thing was the salad. Oh, God almighty. I, I mean, I just love an Outback wedge salad. And so I made blue cheese dressing from scratch and um with with blue cheese crumbles and then i made uh this balsamic and honey drizzle as well and then i bought bacon bits for it oh my god um with cherry tomatoes it was just fabulous fabulous i ate, ended up eating three wedges over the course of like six hours or so the tilapia ended up producing not not very much fish at all and plus I kind of burnt out on on it so I only ate, ate a small bit of it and yeah I mean it it didn't I didn't get I wasn't able to like let's say fillet it off of the bones I just kind of <laughs> it ended up ended up looking like as if you had torn apart a crab so um so, all right, um, I guess I'm talking about culture shock from one strip mall to another, and uh, guess that's all. All right, bye-bye.